We have an obligation to help Taiwan defend itself, and I think the world will continue to see that, said Pentagon spokesman John Kirby. China previously threatened war if Taiwan declared independence. Speaking at a press conference on April 28, U.S. time, Mr. Kirby called on China not to overreact to the Joe Biden administration's reiteration of long-standing commitments to Taiwan. The Pentagon representative affirmed that nothing has changed in the department's commitments to the Taiwan Relations Act and three joint communiques on Taiwan. Mr. Kirby emphasized that the U.S. Department of Defense, under the leadership of retired four-star General Lloyd Austin, will continue to support Taipei. We have an obligation to assist Taiwan in self-defense, and I think the world will continue to see that, the Pentagon spokesman said. The statements came not long after China's Ministry of National Defense warned that Taiwan independence means war. Wu Qian, a spokesman for China's Ministry of National Defense, stressed that China's air force activities near the island of Taiwan were necessary to respond to external provocations. Asked about this, Mr. Kirby called Mr. No Kim's statements regrettable. We see no reason for cross-strait tensions to lead to situations like confrontation. When asked if the U.S. had prepared a scenario to protect Taiwan if it was attacked, a Pentagon spokesman declined to answer. I won't go into hypotheticals. The U.S. military is still ready to act on all fronts to keep its security commitments in the region, Mr. Kirby changed the issue. The U.S. State Department last week said U.S. commitments to Taiwan were firm and called on Beijing to stop putting pressure on Taipei. China considers Taiwan an inalienable part of its territory and strongly opposes other countries' dealings with the Taipei government. Beijing also passed an anti-secession law, creating a legal basis for the use of force if Taiwan formally declares independence. The United States does not establish formal relations with Taiwan but maintains the supply of weapons to the island under the Taiwan Relations Act of 1979. Under President Donald Trump, Taiwan has purchased billions of dollars in arms. Modern Gas from America The three joint communiques on Taiwan that Mr. Kirby mentioned are the three documents signed by the U.S. and China in 1972, 1979, and 1982, respectively. This is the basis for the two sides to normalize relations. The United States recognizes the government of the People's Republic of China and the One China Principle.